All right, so the news at this hour. News just in. The NPA has now confirmed that one of the Mayua defense lawyers, advocate Tulani Ngome Zulu, acting for accused numbers one and two in the Senzo Mayua murder trial, faces charges of attempted murder, conspiracy to commit murder, contravention of a protection order, and resisting arrest. These charges date back to November 2022. The complainant is his wife, Dumisile Sibentile Ngome Zulu whom he works with on the case. Now, she wanted to withdraw the charges, but the NPA declined to withdraw. Our senior news reporter, Crisalda Lewis, in fact, joins us in studio for more. Crisalda, good afternoon. Perhaps you could give us more um, following this uh, breaking news. Well, that's right, Liesl. This uh, certainly does not have anything to do uh, with the current trial within a trial or the uh, trial relating to the murder of soccer star Senzo Meiwa. But the information that SABC News has now learned is that uh, the uh, defense lawyer who's representing accused number one, who is Muzi Sibiya, and accused number two, who is uh, Bongani Ndanzi, that's advocate Tulanim Gomezulu. We understand that he is uh, facing uh, charges relating to attempted murder, conspiracy to commit murder, contravention of a protection order, as well as resisting arrest. These charges are uh, uh, dating back to November 2022. We understand that this relates to a dom domestic dispute uh, with his wife. This has uh, been confirmed by the National Prosecuting Authority and uh, his wife wanted to withdraw the case and the NPA uh, decided that it was going to continue uh, with this particular matter. It is before the courts. Now the allegation in part has got to do with allegations that uh, he had gone to a garage and uh, bought petrol and wanted to torch his house. This is the house that he shares with his wife. Now, his wife also works with him on this case, and we generally see her uh, with him inside court on a daily basis or when this matter is being heard. He allegedly threatened to burn down his house with the children. Police are understand to have found petrol in his car. The matter, we understand, is going back to court on the 6th of March, which is this year. But I want us to take a listen to the National Prosecuting Authority spokesperson, Pidim Jonandana, who explains to us what this case entails. I can confirm as the NPA that um, there is an ongoing case against Mr. Mgome Zulu dating back um, as early as November 2022. Um, a complaint was laid by his wife um, for against the accused for uh, defying a protection order so um, he was charged with several counts, um, one of contravention of the court order, um, assault by way of threats, um, conspiracy to commit murder, attempted murder, as well as um, resisting an arrest. So that case has been ongoing. The accused, Mr. Mgome Zulu, um, made attempts to large representations with the NPA from the level of chief prosecutor until the level of the national director of public prosecutions and all those representations from the chief prosecutor DPP until NDPP office were rejected. Um, this is also following a withdrawal statement that was uh, filed by the accused wife um, stating that she no longer wishes to continue with the case. But unfortunately, as the NPA, we deemed it fit and in the interest of justice to continue with the case against the accused um, with the aim of uh, protecting the wife who came to us with a complaint um, and also to ensure that justice is served um, for the purpose of providing protection to her and the children because the children were also involved in this alleged threats by the accused. So we deemed it fit as the NPA not to withdraw the case. And after uh, Mr. Mgome Zulu realized that the um, representations were unsuccessful and that the, prosec the prosecution is continuing, he then approached the High Court in Pretoria for a stay of prosecution. So there is a judgment by the High Court of Pretoria um, that was delivered in December 2023. So in that order, the court ordered the NPA to consult with the complainant and thereafter draft a memorandum 
to the applicant who's um, the accused person, Mr. Mugumezulu, with its decision whether or not prosecution will still continue or we will um, then stop his prosecution. So, Liesl, we did indicate that this matters before the courts uh, again in March, but by the end of uh, February, uh, that's what we're hearing from the NPA's uh, PDM Jorondwana, is that uh, they would then need to consult with the complainant, who is his uh, wife in this particular uh, instance, and then a decision will be made on whether they're going to proceed uh, with this particular matter. And we will hear towards the end of February what bearing, you may ask, does this have on the Senzo Miwa murder trial, well, the trial within a trial, uh, which is uh, resuming again tomorrow. Uh, remember, anyone who is still going through the court process, uh, he is presumed innocent until found otherwise by the court. So he continues with his work uh, on the Senzo Miwa trial as uh, the defense advocate for accused number one and two. And uh, certainly um, tomorrow, what will then happen is you'd recall on Friday, we had adjourned early uh, from this particular case because there had been a recording, an audio recording from um, as early as the first appearance uh, of uh, the accused, the five accused in the Senzo Miwa murder trial. What they were trying to basically establish was in that recording, whether accused number two, Wangani Ntanzi, uh, had fired his uh, lawyer, who was uh, advocate uh, uh, Dominique Mjiago, that was at the center of what was taking place. So those recordings were to give an idea. You would have heard on those recordings, on those audio recordings from the Boxburg Magistrates Court. That's where the first appearances uh, had been held. Um, relating to uh, whether he had been represented uh, by Mjiako, because remember, what we've heard thus far is that Ntanzi says that he did not know um, the, this particular lawyer. So uh, what we heard now from those audio recordings, which were a bit um, uh, muffled inside court, uh, was that um, he had been placed on record as a person who had been representing accused number two, Bongan Ntanzi. So tomorrow, what is going to happen, remember on Friday, uh, on Monday, which is today, uh, the defense then was to get the transcript now, the written transcript of exactly what took place uh, inside court because that sound had been a bit muffled on Friday. So this transcript, the written transcript, which will take center stage in court tomorrow, uh, will now outline exactly when it is that he had fired Mjiako because we also heard inside court on Friday that uh, he had basically at some point uh, fired uh, this uh, particular lawyer, uh, accusing him of wanting him to plead guilty to the murder of Senzo Miyua. So that's what's expected uh, inside uh, court tomorrow morning. But breaking news at this hour, the National Prosecuting Authority confirming that uh, the lawyer representing accused number one and two in the Senzo Miyua trial is facing a rap on attempted murder as well as conspiracy to commit murder amongst other charges relating to an alleged domestic uh, violence incident uh, uh, involving his wife. So we certainly uh, expected to hear much more on that as well. Mm. All right, Chris Alder, we obviously continue to monitor developments from here and too, but thank you for your time at the SAW and for bringing us that breaking news. Chris Alder, just bring us the latest there. Of course, Advocate Tulani Mgome Zulu, acting for accused one and two in the Senzumio murder trial, facing charges of attempted murder, conspiracy to commit murder, contravention of a protection order and resisting arrest. She was also throwing forward to what we can expect during that trial within a trial at the High Court in Pretoria.